PopStopTV.com. Exclusive. Hey guys, I'm Shishi Aim for Popstop TV, and today we're checking out a new show on VH1 Classic called Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp. It's a new show that takes 15 musicians from different cities and mold them into rock stars. Will they succeed? Let's check it out. How are you? I'm doing great. You're doing great? Yeah, this is really cool. This is definitely cool. What's even cooler is that you're one of the counselors on the show. Yeah, I know. I actually didn't expect to do it. I just expect to come hang out for the day, and then all of a sudden they said, hey, you know, Mark Burnett got involved, and it's going to be a, 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 a thing for a VH1. I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You get paid to teach kids to be a rock star. Yeah. What's it like to be one of the counselors in the new show? It's awesome. I, I uh, you know, I come from a long line of teachers, so teaching comes very naturally to me. Should I teach you? Yes, Go you like should. This. Yeah! <laughs> We're done. Good. See ya. It's a great opportunity for uh, people who are not in the music business to hang with musicians um, and rock stars. There's a big difference. What happens during that time that you spend with these strangers and putting them together and making them a cohesive band and feeling like rock stars by the end of the week and playing at the key club or wherever? Um, you know, it, it, it's life-changing for them, and, and, it, and it affects me, too, though. You are the host on the show. Tell I me a little am. bit about it. Um, I was pretty much the luckiest person on the planet to have this job. I love rock and roll, and I love glam metal. I know, I know, and I love, like, classic rock. So when they gave me this job, I was, like, jumping up and down like a freak, and then I got to meet all of these famous rock stars that I worshipped as a child. And um, so I pretty much died and went to rock and roll heaven. That sounds awesome. Hey, you used to be a poster on my wall. Oh my god, I kissed you goodnight. Ah. Oh my god, I was like one groupie waiting outside your concert. Yeah. What's the best part about working on the show? I know you guys must have had some crazy experiences. It, it was really long days, I can tell you that. And watching the contestants go through their whole regimen of things that they had to do today, every time I would walk in, I always had a, another rock star, like a famous, famous rock star, that I would bring with me and surprise the, the contestants every day. And the looks on their faces, like one girl, one girl actually started crying. So I did. I want to, you know, I want to keep the dream alive. You Very know? cool. Don't go home with their tail between their legs. <laughs> what is rock star quality to you? Uh, you know, for me, it's just uh, you know musicianship and really being into what you do. And if you are the the, the so-called rock star stuff, that that'll just follow naturally. Teaching them how to have the attitude. That rock star quality means that you have the biggest balls in the room. You know, you have to have a lot of charisma and you have to you have to have the cojones to pull it off. And as long as you're doing what you think is the best that you can do and you just own that moment, that's when you have it. I love you, girl. You made me want to put on some 10 inch stilettos. Extremely organized and ready to go at all times. But then you gotta pretend like you're drunk and you don't know what's going on. But truly, you really know what's going on. That's my theory. That's that's, that's your definition. So you kinda have to pretend like you don't care, but you really do. You really do. What is the least fabulous thing about being a rock star? Waiting. Mornings. I went from singing Jewish weddings, and my biggest dream was maybe one day I would be up in that chair. Right now, I'm up there on that stage. Great fun, really, really good fun. Uh, you know, amazing to be selected and to be given the chance to go on the show, to be given the chance to meet people that we've idolized for so many years, to get given that experience and to be coached by rock stars and have Rudy Sarzo giving us information and telling us where we got it right and where we got it wrong, and to then be on stage and to have Rudy Sarzo, who, you know, we all loved growing up. For the first yeah. time ever on stage with us. Yeah. For the first time ever on stage with us. With and my to, guitar. <laughs> to, to have him come up and say, I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are amazing. You know, we created something special. To have that happen to us was just absolutely fantastic. And it's also a lot of hours just in the bedroom, just practicing Whoa. 10, 14, <laughs> 14 oh, hours. Also, there are moments, there are definitely moments where you're like, uh, <laughs> this band or this person may not make it through and, and come out looking okay, but I'll tell you, like, the surprises are endless. The people that you would think would never come out alive come out looking like rock stars.